Hello, it's Sarah. And I have some projects that I wanted to share. I've been working with the clay again. Um, this time I created some tiles. These are inchies that I've been playing with. Real basic stuff. Just stamped out some impressions into clay and then colored them with Inca Gold or my um, Perfect Pearls. I added a little bling in this one and these in the center because that was a little stamp. But basically kept it real simple for those. I did a couple of word stamps, um, some hearts. And I ended up covering a um, composition book. I'll, show, I'll bring that in. Uh, this is, I am playing with clay this year. Polymer Clay Adventure is an online retreat that I signed up for and every month there's at least two classes a month. Um, I haven't, I've only taken oops, notes on the, the first class so far, but I'm looking forward to several of the artists. Um, Teresa, they just posted a video yesterday and I haven't watched it yet. I want to say Capano, Teresa Capano. Um, she does caning, so I want to take some notes on that. But anyway, my other notebooks were pretty full, so I wanted to designate a notebook to that retreat this because I'll be doing it all year. So I covered it with clay. Now, I've seen other videos where people are covering their journals with clay. Um, Mandarin Ducky, if you haven't seen her videos, are amazing. And there are several others, but they're all um, fast time, or what do they call it when they... They speed up the video and they show it um, time-lapsed, I guess is what it's called, to music. And it's just, I prefer a real-time video when I'm learning something. Um, I want to hear the thought process as well. So, haven't really been able to find anything. Um, well, Lynn's Crafts, um, she is a polymer clay artist and she actually did just show a tutorial to do a little one of the mini composition books that I'm going to try. I'm going to follow her tutorial. She did it with, um, she made a keyboard, like a piano keyboard, and she had some stamps that went along with a the music theme. She made a little charm that hangs off it, so she's made some other, like a pirate one, a bunch of different ones that she actually um, uh, molds different pieces like she made a little um, skull and crossbones anyway um, so that's good to know but in the meantime I figured well I'm pretty good with the tiles I just wanted to keep it simple um, for this one I put create love and dream and then I just had some stamps so I just did these three different stamps um, and colored them with my my um, Inca gold and stuff so I'm pretty happy with it I mean it's it's good for what, I mean, I just painted the cover with, um, I gessoed and then painted with my metallic paint and then glued them on with, um, sorry, I keep hitting the camera, with the weld bond. So I didn't reinforce um, it or anything. Um, hopefully they'll stay on. I mean, I can hear it cracking now. Like they're, this one seems like it's coming off a little. I may have to re-glue it. Um, but we'll see. Um, but I'm happy with it. I, I love how it turned out. So that got me moving in the direction of making more inches. I figured, let me get a little more elaborate. And I did some with um, applique. I did some colors purple, some pinks, yellow, orange flowers, blue flowers. So I have quite a few of those. And then I did some swirlies because... You guys know I love my swirlies. Here's a um, like a heart-shaped one with some bling I added in there, but mostly they're just swirlies, just a little texture, maybe some bling, and then I put the color of the Inca Gold or the um, Perfect Pearls that match the color of clay. So then I made, because Lynn's Crafts, Lynn, I guess she also makes charms, that she hangs off of her little composition book. So I just made this, which I love. I'll be making more of these. I'm gonna try and use my word stamps. I made a star, a heart, and these are charms that you could like hang off the edge of the book. And then this is just a tile, but I'll do other word tiles I really like. So I was doing the letter tiles as well, and then these didn't turn out. Like, look at this. 
I don't know what the heck is going on with my oven, but I am burning things and look at that. I mean, that's weird. They must have just been in there too long. Some of them came out perfectly fine, but like some of them didn't. So I'm not sure if it's because I'm mixing clay or whatever. Um, I mean, I'm not sure, but like this is perfectly flat, like no problem there. Then I just did a couple of word um, pieces that I might use in a mosaic. So that's my tiles. And then have you guys um, heard about um, fairy doors, okay? So, Polymer Clay Adventure is having swaps every month, and I missed the January swap, but February swap is a fairy door, and you have to do three, and I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but I want it, I researched it, and of course, I love them, they're super cute, but I never made one before, so I'm going to show you what I made. This is the first one I did. And I was souped, very excited about this. It's an ATC. I just figured I'd do an ATC to start with. I used um, one of those, it's like one of those gems that you use for uh, like putting in a vase or whatever, but it got burned. I burned it. I don't know if you can tell because I was able to cover up a lot of it. This corner especially is like black. This is black everything is darker than it should have been there's gray gr like granite clay around the door and it's like I had to put silver on it so it was very disappointing I didn't love the gem either and it came out cloudy but I really worked hard on this and thought I was very excited I made like a brick looking background I put a tree on there and I mean it's, it's kind of weird because it's one of those things that I guess if you don't know that it got burned, it's okay, but I know it got burned and I was so disappointed. Like even the red, it's not the sparkly red. It's different. Like it, it is. It's just, it changed the color. Like the green is all like very dark green. So anyway, very disappointing. Um, had to make it know. So when Maya went home today, of course I had to get busy with the clay. Um, and the next one I made, pretty happy with it. It's not an ATC. I just decided to make a door, but I forgot to make a stand because a lot of people make little stands for them so that they can have a collection. But I love, this one kind of seemed so dark in all ways. This is more like a gnome door or something or a castle door almost, but I, the gem makes it look like a portal. I don't know. So I decided to use a cookie cutter and cut a heart shape. I'm going to go away and come back. Cut, cut a heart shape for the window. I glossy accented it and it like spilled down to here. So I'm going to try and pick that out. But I like it though. I think this is the colors. Like look at this gray clay around it. It's the same thing around this door. And you can't even tell because it's, it's burned. So... I did the same thing. I kind of put a tree um, <clears throat> and leaves, and um, but the colors just turned out so much brighter. I still added the ink of gold to like pop everything. The leaves just look much brighter um, in the grass. So that one I was pretty happy with. Um, just that it's it can't stand up. It can't do anything. It's not an ATC. So I might mount it on an ATC because it'll fit. I think I'll like put it on there and put like a base so it can stand up or something. Maybe I'll just put a base. I don't know because I don't know if you can bake it again. I don't know. It'll just stay like this. <laughs> All right. So that was the second one. Then I did do one that stood up only it doesn't. My husband gave me this like thick um, electrical tape to kind of balance it. Now this is warpy too, so I'm going to try and I'm just going to move the camera. So let's see. Oh, see. Let me see if I can get it in the light. It's cute though. I'm going to just lay it down. I'll shine it. Um, I'll show you it standing up at the end. But it turned out cute because I did like a green background with like 
I think I did a sand texture on the green, but it didn't really matter. I was going for more of a foresty fairy this time. I went with the brown door again and a star-shaped window. I put yellow clay behind the door, behind the hole, so that it looked like there was light inside. Um, and then I just put a bunch of twisty twirlies. Like, this is just a big, thick vine that goes all the way up. And I added um, little flowery buds. And then I did put the Inca gold on everything to kind of brighten it up. I put some silver on the edges of the, of the rock. Like you can tell there's some shiny spots because I used the black clay and I put silver on top. Um, I made the knocker handle again, put nails in the door. So it's pretty cool. I have a, um, a wood grain texture um, thing. So that, that's what I've been using on the um, doors. So that turned out cool. It's just the, oh, and then the cobblestone texture thing I used for the, there we go, for the past. So it does stand up, but it's just tricky. Um, I, I did another one, so I'll show you that. So then, had to replace my ATC that I didn't like with this one. So there, um, this one is, I started making things a bit thinner too. I tried to, my layers, I tried not to make them as thick. So even the doors are thinner, the rocks, the bricks are thinner. I tried to keep everything that I was layering on top um, a notch thinner on my um, pasta machine. But I did the same kind of style again with the tree. I just didn't go as thick. I made it smaller, changed the color of the door to red because I really wanted to use that red. It's like a glitter clay. It's really pretty and made black, um, what are they called, hinges and a doorknob and then just the leaves again. And then I put dots in the background. I think this is gray. I was kind of going with it's a mushroom, but that, oh, and these cobblestones are cool. I love the path on the bottom. But then I started thinking, I was like, you know, this is a fairy door. There's no trees that are that small that are gonna come up to a fairy's door. <laughs> This makes more sense, like the vine, that would be okay, but then this is my last one that I love, and this makes the most sense. It's the most simple. The window's a little big. I wish I had, I was just using my smallest um, cookie cutters, but I went with a diamond. I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, I did a wooden frame on this one instead of the bricks, which I love the bricks. The bricks are so fun to do. But this, the leaves are a cookie cutter, another cookie cutter that I have that I loved. And I thought, aha, that makes more sense that there would be big giant leaves because fairies are little. So, and I'm sure I could, could make flowers too, but I'm gonna, I might go get the molds for, um, uh, they're not Martha Stewart. I'm pretty sure it's a, a clay mold. I forget the brand name, but for flowers, for like big, bigger petals and stuff. But I love how I like twisted this vine and made it kind of three dimensional and pop up. Um, and then on this side too. I could have added flowers, but I just kept this really simple. And then I made the base much thicker. And it's still even a little wonky, but it definitely stands up. So I'll try to stand it up. See, they stand up. But that way you can have like a collection of your little doors that you make, your little fairy doors. They're super cute. See, now I might have to do the swap. So I'm not sure if I swap three of the same or three different ones. Um, and then I just added a dragonfly to this one. This is the most simple, easiest to do too, because it's just wrapping the brown clay around the edge for the wood. Oh, I did the wood grains on this door myself too. I just um, made like slats, slat lines in it, and then just pulled little grain lines. Super cute. I like it. So, and I made these lines like, I don't know. I, I mean... It's, there's, you're only, your imagination can stop you. And I am a copycat, so I just look at everybody else's ideas and then kind of see how it turns out. But, um, they're fun. They're really fun. And there aren't that many videos. I actually, um, PM'd Lynn's Crafts 
to see if she'd ever done one because I was looking through her vid videos and she hadn't done one. She's like, I've always wanted to do one. So um, she'll probably come up with a video herself on um, how to do them. So um, having fun, playing with the clay. And that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching.